Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Sass Sass, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Today, rainy, rainy, humid, thundery night. So you might even hear a thunderstorm uh, because that's what's going on right now. And we are going to smoke a Rocky Patel today. The Rocky Patel ALR. There we go. So um, Eric's been telling me to smoke this thing and 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 something else. I can't remember what it is. And I don't remember if I bought this or somebody sent it to me. There's no sticker on it, so I guess I bought this. So, yeah, that's what we got. I um, believe this is a Toro size. ALR stands for Aged Limited Rares. You know, we have, like, I saw the cigar uh, when I was on a cruise ship, and I have zero, zero, zero desire to smoke this. So, we'll see. All right, first look at the cigar. Rocky Patel ALR Second Edition Toro Box Press. It is six and a half by 52, $14 and a box of 20. The cigars were blended by Rocky in 2016 and left in the aging room and then left to rest in Esteli. Uses Mexican San Andreas wrapper over a Nicaraguan binder and Filler. Cigar itself looks very interesting, very chocolatey, very dark, and obviously the Mexican San Andreas uneven coloring and aged for two years, at least two years, because I received it obviously after that. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, now we're back. Let's. Ah, damn it. First, let's take a look at this. I can't open it. You know what? Let me work this. Be right back. All right. Finally got this off. I had to cut it because it was so much glue. It won't come off. So, uh, that's too much to read. See if you guys can freeze this frame and read this if you want to. I'm not going to read it. So, okay. It smells like my cedar. Uh, humidor. Nothing to it. <clears throat> So this has been sitting in my humidor for a while now, if it smells like my humidor. Cold dry is like a sweet, old, woodsy drawer. Yep, sweet old woody drawer. Do I have any more fuel? Ah, a little bit here. That should be good. <clears throat> Come on. Gotta get this quickly done. Why? Because um, I procrastinated on recording today, so I recorded pretty late. We'll see. This light up smells good though. It smells like chocolate. That's uh mm. Oh, 
Well, this is definitely a little bit white pepper. There's like a muted chalkiness to it. And a very muted cocoa note. And woodsiness. <clears throat> There's a, like a really weird floralness too, a little bit. That's what I got right now. So let me smoke one third. We'll be right back. Okay. I'm out first third. Yeah. Box price, right? Yeah, you know, it's not always gonna burn even, but here you go, tap it off. The flavor is like tingling white pepper. Mask. Soft. Cocoa. And woodsiness. A little bit sweet. That's pretty much it. What? I don't know what's going on with this one. Shouldn't you be aged? Limited? And rare? Are you talking about the, the, the flavor is rarely found in the cigar? Or is that there's limited amount of flavor? Or is that it will take ages for you to figure out what's going on here? Yeah, first there is really light. It's almost elegant, yes, but it's light. It's like, why am I smoking? Why am I smoking? All right, first third basically light. There's very little amount of flavor. Almost watered down or maxed out. Can taste much of it. So, not much about first third. Well, we're going to second third. Huh? What? I don't want to waste my time. Please be better. All right, I'll be right back. All right, we're at second third. The second third flavor did improve, but not the direction I want. Um, the smoke has this earthy smell, and the palate is more fruity and has chocolate. So it's like fruity, cocoa, cedar, pepper. Yep. Fruity, cocoa, cedar, pepper. <clears throat> Not what I expect from like a San Andreas kind of thing, but yeah, it's not my palate. It's not, it's not what I like. It's not. Rocky, you did this wrong. I don't know what part of it is. It's amazing, but you know, you gotta, you gotta kind of like that kind of combinations. So, but here you go. AL bar band, pretty cool. Like, you know, it's almost a like vintage look. Uh, I like these print. I don't know if this font fit, fits this thing, but it's a good looking band, I guess. Yeah. So now I only have last third left. Like, I don't know. I really did not like that combination of fruitiness and like cocoa, but like, it's a weird fruitiness. It does have a sweetness to it because of that fruitiness, but I don't, it, it, it kills that cocoa. It kills that cocoa. I, I I will have to enjoy just the cocoa. Like, you know, but it's personal preference, right? Because some people might like the fruitiness. I just don't like that combination. So, all right, Laster, you're right back. All right, Laster, finally done. Like, took me a while. I really did not enjoy the cigar. Uh, Laster, let me refresh my mind a little bit. Woodsy, still fruity, little bit of sweetness. And that's it. And that's it. Still tastes kind of watery. Uh, like masked flavor. Not very good. Yeah. It is a little bit better than, uh, I would say, bundles and stuff like that. So I'll give it $6.10. There we go. And that is what I think. I don't know. I mean, 
Eric liked the cigar. I don't know why, but it's it's not it's not hitting me the same way. The smell, the smoke smell is very like earthy too. I don't know if it's my room or because we had a thunderstorm or that smell like earthy, but it's kind of earthy. I did not enjoy it. Even with a nice coffee, still didn't help. So I will say skip it. Yeah. So that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share with our podcast is back online so you can start listening to our podcast again make sure to also join our membership for early access to some of the reviews and i'll check out too. so that will be it i will see you guys next time bye guys